Hello, friends. There are hundreds of dog breeds on the planet, and each of them is amazing in its own way. But the puppies, even though they do already have the distinctive features of each breed, like all babies, are very similar due to their heartwarming defenselessness, playful enthusiasm, and the desire to get to know the world around them. Many people mistakenly believe that pugs are the true lovers of the couch life. But that's not the case. Pugs are very agile, playful, and energetic. A heart of great kindness beats in the pug's small body. And an imperial sign, a Chinese character that promises fame and fortune, is drawn by the folds on its forehead. Because of this sign, the representatives of this ancient breed used to have incredible privileges. Europe didn't lag behind in showing love for the pugs. They were an integral part of the ladies' entourage. Pugs give birth to an average of two to four puppies, completely blind. These puppies grow up quickly, and some two or three days after their birth, they're already incredibly active. They crawl, shaking their heads from side to side, trying to maintain balance. The older they get, the more energetic they become. You won't find another breed whose representatives have shared so many hardships with people. Just think of the serum run to save the Alaskan city of Nome from diphtheria, when the dogs ran for a record 172 hours and almost 1,100 kilometers in a blizzard to deliver the necessary vaccine. There's no better running companion and no better friend for the children than a husky. The people of the North, the ones that bred this dog, even had a tradition to invite a pack of huskies into their home after the birth of a child so that they would warm the child. The husky puppies weigh about 350 to 450 grams. They don't see or hear anything. The only thing important to the husky puppy is to recognize the smell of its mother, who feeds it, keeps it warm, and massages its tummy with her tongue. At one month old, husky puppies look like funny little bears, and at two months, they already resemble adult dogs. Spitz dogs are popular with celebrities and often appear with them on red carpets, at album launches and award ceremonies. Spitz dogs accompany their owners on vacations and to beauty salons. It might be hard to believe, but back in the 19th century, these cuties were much bigger and lived with the poor, helping them guard the herds, while the dwarf species is four to six times smaller and was bred when miniature dogs became popular. Spitz are very neat and caring mothers. They give birth to only two or three puppies weighing about 90 grams, but they gain weight incredibly quickly, causing their owners bewilderment. At first, the little ones seem very vulnerable. They're blind and deaf. Their bodies are disproportionate. The head and the tummy are large, while the legs are short. Their body is covered with a weak fluff through which the skin is visible. These fluffy puppies are often used in advertisements. Maltese dogs were known long before the beginning of our era. Loyal and intelligent, looking like toys, these were the favorites of the aristocrats. Until the age of 80 weeks, the main role in the life of the Maltese puppies is played by the mother. She doesn't just feed them, but actually raises her puppies. She can punish her puppies with false bites, growls, and even scowls. It has already been proven that puppies that haven't been raised by the mother grow up to be undisciplined. The puppies are born with short and uneven hair with an undercoat. At five months, they begin to feel affection for their mother, sisters, and brothers. Sometimes, many puppies can be born in a litter. Their size differs significantly from the standard size relatives throughout their life. They're usually called pocket dogs. A plush ball of happiness covered in wrinkles. Sharpei dogs are the direct descendants of the oldest dogs on the planet. This breed was known in China 3,000 years ago and almost died out there during the Cultural Revolution, when pet ownership was declared a symbol of the uselessness of the privileged class. The main difference between Sharpei and other breed puppies is their lilac tongues. While their distinctive behavioral feature is the ability to accustom themselves to cleanliness in childhood, which other puppy breeds can't do. The legendary Hachiko, whose name became the symbol of canine devotion, was of the Akita breed. Also, back home in Japan, they're believed to be the best nannies. Akita dogs are large, so their puppies weigh quite a lot at birth, 
almost 350 to 500 grams. They develop quickly, and on the second day, they already look like fat little balls, and by the end of the first week, their weight doubles. These cute little puppies will resemble bear cubs very soon. At three months old, they respond to their names and understand simple commands. For most people, the word poodle brings up an image of an agile dog with quite an intricate hairdo, but as they say, looks can be deceiving. Poodles are sort of the Einstein of the dog world. They even have an excellent sense of humor. Newborn puppies spend most of the day sleeping, and they'll remain sleepy heads as they grow up. They are sensitive to smells and touch, and have curly hair. You can really see the curls. The puppies develop quickly. When they're just several weeks old, they're already learning to use their tail, growl, bark, and communicate with other dogs. They're very active and nimble. They're always trying to get in everywhere and taste everything they find on their way. Being the sacred dog of the Chinese emperors for thousands of years, the Pekingese has forever preserved its truly royal grandeur. This small native of the Middle Kingdom organically combines the appearance of a lion and a loving heart of a dog. Pekingese puppies don't have a pronounced mane like the adults do, but they still look very cute, and later, they will look like a fluffy little stuffed toy. The neonatal period lasts a couple of weeks. At two months old, the puppies are already mastering the principles of social behavior. They have a cheerful disposition and they love children, games, and pranks. They're curious and lively and disobedient, which is why their training shouldn't be postponed. They're also very brave and adore their owner. If the owner is in danger, the puppy won't hesitate to rush in and attack the enemy. Most people associate German Shepherds with loyalty, intelligence, and heroism. They are highly trainable, which is why this breed makes great police, guard, and rescue dogs. These dogs excel not only in serving people, but also in raising their puppies. Meet Minnie the mom and her three adorable puppies. Newborns react only to the cold and hunger. A German Shepherd puppy is an extremely active and inquisitive creature with irrepressible energy. It's always ready to fool around, so an experienced owner combines training with play. Chow Chow dogs look like a small cute lion or an orange teddy bear but they're no toys, but rather an ancient animal with an independent and proud disposition. They've been living with humans for over 2,000 years and descended from the wild wolf that lived in the steppes of Mongolia and in the territory of modern-day China. The famous traveler Marco Polo has once fallen under their charm and brought several Chow Chows with him to Venice. Even at a very young age, Chow Chow puppies stand out among all other puppies from their breed characteristics a large bear muzzle, thick, luxurious hair, and thick bodies. At three months old, they learn to be a dog, to bark, master the tongue of the tail, and to attack and to defend. The Dalmatian is one of the most recognizable breeds in the world. They have their spots everywhere, not only on the coat. If you look inside the Dalmatian's mouth, you'll see the signature spots on the mucous membranes as well, but they are born completely snow white. They begin to get their spots about seven days later. They're very visible on the puppy's white coat. A month-old puppy can weigh as much as 10 times its weight at birth. Friends, which breed of puppies did you like the most? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.